Okay, it's Dr. Linda Davis, and today I want to work through a Tableau exercise on the symbol map. I am pulling this from Learning Tableau 10, your textbook, and I am going to be working from page 31 in chapter 1 onward. So, a cool thing about Tableau is that you can bring in a text file, for instance, and this one looks like Excel, but I think it was derived from a .csv file, but it's called Superstore. We've worked with it before. So I'm going to just, that's in the chapter one collection of um, data sheets, but let me click on Superstore. Let me open it up so you can see, you know, all the columns. Basically, I could scroll out quite a ways and still have lots more columns to go. Looks like Excel, looks a little bit like Access, you know, but that's how this works. And it can pull from Access, it can pull from Excel. Tableau is just uh, awesome about all the different data sources it can pull from. So you can see from the bottom left, it says data source. That's what I've clicked on right now. And that's why you're seeing the data source, which is all the columns and rows. And you can see it says Superstore right there, what file it's derived from. It is a .csv file, by the way. Now, but I want to take this flat data and I want to make it into something very visual because Tableau is all about data visualizations to help your audience see the problem areas really quick. So we're going to click into sheet one. Nothing going on in there yet, but let me show you what it will look like once we're finished. So let me click on my finished version just to give you an idea. And I still, it may look a little different from this, but uh, basically it's going to take all your zip codes and all the data for each zip code and it's going to plot it for you on this map uh, of North American map and uh, big circles bigger the circle um, the more the um, sales are the the color dictates the profit how large or how darker it is the blue it is the, the larger the better the profit is for that for those sales um, so you'll see quite a few things from this so that's kind of our finished one I think ours will be even a little better than that one so let's jump into that let me go back to our undone one basically we've got the data source loaded I showed you that already I jumped over to sheet one before I went to show you the finished one and I'm on page 31 in symbol maps now um, what we want to do is um, first of all get the map going on and a lot of times with Tableau you don't even have to tell it to pick the map because obviously there's nothing able you're able to pick right here just yet but I can jump over here into Tableau and in the data tab I've got dimensions of course and I've got measures down here so it, we're, what we're going to start with is picking the postal code we're going to get that going on so if you'll drive your mouse over where it says postal code and just double click and Tableau goes oh postal codes I have a map for that and then boom it puts the map up there it puts all the uh, postal code dots on there from that it's pulling from your data source and then we can add more to this, more layers to this to show what it can really do for you, what the power of Tableau looks like, okay? So, sales and profit, two very simple items that we're going to add and layer onto this. So I'm gonna go down to sales. We'll start with sales. Now with sales, I'm, it tells you in your book to um, drag sales from the measures area and put it to the size shelf on the marks card okay so what did that just say well here's sales obviously I'm, my mouse is sitting on it right now and I'm going to drag it to the marks cards yes it says marks there but it's going to put on the size shelf on the marks card so here's size just drop it in there and what that means is you're letting the amount of sales dictate the size of the circle so you can see what we have here. Lots of little dots, a few big dots, really lots of big dots in the Northeast, okay? So that's one level, that's one layer. Now we also want to go down to uh, profit. I wanna take profit and it says in number four, drag profit from measures to the color shelf on the marks card. So you're not dragging it to the same spot. You are dragging it to the marks card, but you are dragging it to color and dropping it onto color. So I'm gonna take profit going to drag it on to color right there. Now, what you're, you're telling it to do is say, you know, the darker the blue is the better the profit. Uh, if it's more leaning toward red or yellow, that's less profit, probably heading toward zero. 
you know, so um, or a negative profit. So what we want to do, and right now everything's really tiny, and that's not going to work because all about this is all about visualization. So what we're going to do is adjust. So let's get a size. Let's click on size with your uh, mouse, and I'm going to adjust the size of this mark, which in our case was sales. So I'm making quite a bit bigger. If you get too big, just slide it back down. It's just a slider bar. Let go. Now that looks better, right? And um, just realize in the Northeast, you know, you've got lots of small states in there. So um, we may do some adjustment on that so you can see what circles might be inside the big circle. All right. Uh, there may be some overlapping going on. Now, also, I want to go and adjust color. And that's also in your text. I believe that's on page 33 specifically. Um, so I can go to color and click on that and go to edit colors. And by the way, before I do that, let me go to opacity. It's a little bit, you know, strong as far as solid blues. You know, let's have a little transparency going on there. So let me back it down anywhere between, I think your book was saying in between um, 50 and 75 percent, I think. Um, so we'll maybe hit something like 70 percent. 65, 70, somewhere along in there. So we'll tone down how solid each circle looks because we want to be able to see circles that may lie within or near the bigger circles, okay, or the postal code. So um, the borders, you know, if you want to make the border just uh, a, a blue, that's fine. Um, kind of like, you know, s helps you separate out um, each postal zone when it's not got a nice border around the circle. Now, um, color, we can mess, we can adjust that too. We did opacity just now, but let me go to edit colors. And that, again, I, like I said, it's on page 33. Now, with the colors, the palette, you can change that. Automatic's what comes up, obviously, but it's suggesting you change it to red, blue, diverging. So that is one of your presets here. So go down to red, blue, diverging. Lots of choices, obviously. And we also want to do stepped color. That's check marked in your book. And it also says take it up to six steps, not five. And then let's ask it for useful color range, which is also checked on page 33. And then we'll say apply OK. And kind of gives us a better feel for what's going on with this map. So what does this data visualization tell you? Well, it's showing you you know, where your major sales are with the big circles, how big the circle is determines the sales. Obviously, if I drive over any one of these, it gives me the postal code, the profit, and the sales for that particular circle, no matter how big or small it is. Now, when you start seeing them go orange, you know, they start going red, you drive over it, and you can see what's happening. You know, have sales of 40,000, but Profits negative 7,622 for that one in Florida. So that's telling you something you need to pay attention to. And your superiors probably need to pay attention to that too. Because, you know, that's not a little bitty circle. That is a good sized amount of sales with, you know, negative profit. So it just really points to areas. I see another one over here. Where is this at? Um, looks like still in California. For that postal code, they have $105,000 in sales. But yet, the profit's negative 3,888. So obviously, there are issues there. there that's a problem area. So you would obviously want to be able to identify very quickly in this data visualization how there are certain areas that have decent amount of sales, but a negative profit. Okay. Um, and, you know, wherever you need to go. There's another one over here in Oregon. You know, 18,000 sales, negative 7,000. Uh, and profit. So real quick, color tells you how profitable they are. The size of the circle tells you how um, how big their sales are. Okay, and so this is a great way that Tableau helps you zone in on your problem areas in a company. Once again, thank you for watching.